All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh! Nice one, two there. Oh, huge block. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Right hand punch to the clinch. Back and forth we go here. 
So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. It's not great for the gas tank, but not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Beautiful strike. A little single collar tie there. Straight right, he misses. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Muay Thai plump. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Beautiful body. And now he's got that tight punch. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And he landed the right hand there. Able to check the high kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch, man. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh! Avoid the left. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Punches blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. and it shows. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Kick. Pretty good right hand. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! <laughs> Missed with that attempt. Oh, big left hook there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And there comes the separation now. Ooh, big shot, man. Closing the distance here. Spinning back fist. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this Good stick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, and he's got him right here. See an efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice straight punch. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right hand punch from the clinch. Whiffs on the elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. How does he proceed from here? Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh. Whoa! All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, Shrimp and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna knock him down again and close the deal. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Wow. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What? Oh, back to the feet. All right, he's got the full mouth. That'll do it. Hopkins steps in. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by the So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.